I live out of state in North Carolina. My mom lives in Long Island, New York. She just moved there from Brooklyn. And last night, after I last heard from her while she was doing her laundry at 836, hours had passed. She was supposed to call me when she got back. She did not call. And when I kept calling, at first I only got the voicemail, and then Hispanic strangers picked up her phone. I was in shock. My mom doesn't speak Spanish, and she doesn't know Hispanic people. At least not that I know of. And I'm still worried and panicked. I haven't heard from my mom. I've talked to these people a few times. They've hung up on me a few times. They've bullshitted with me saying they don't speak, they don't speak English. They only speak Spanish. I was literally driving on the highway looking up Google Translator to try to speak Spanish to these people so they could tell me where is my mom. Why do you have her phone? This is her phone. Where is my mom? Asking over and over and again. And as much as I heard people talking to English in the background and the person talking to me was only speaking Spanish, again, they continued to bullshit me and only tell me, oh, we found this phone in the road in front of this restaurant, P.O. P.O. And I think my mom might have been in Queens where she was doing her laundry. Maybe she stopped at that restaurant and she lost her phone. But at this point, I don't even know if something bad happened to her. And I called the Long Island or Queens Police Division, Unit 108 and 115, and 108 transferred me to 115, and 115 took their sweet time telling me if they were going to have cops check out the restaurant locations as there were two different locations close by in the area. I asked them to check out both. I also asked them to call her cell phone number so that they could have a cop who speaks Spanish contact the people who have my mom's phone. This woman on the phone... <laughs> had such an attitude with me and wasted so much time versus just taking the information and then making something happen. So she finally had called me back five minutes ago. She was very rude and picked up the phone asking me how am I feeling. I said, well, I'm still worried about my mom. I still don't know what's going on. And this woman proceeded to have an attitude with me, proceeded to be less than helpful, just told me, oh, well, we went to the restaurant. They were closed. We didn't see your mom. We didn't see anybody. And, of course, because they waited too long to go there, they're not going to see anybody after it closes and everything shut down. But I asked her to keep calling their phone because they have an officer who speaks Spanish, and I'm not fluent in Spanish. I've never regretted that more in my life than last night and this morning. And this woman proceeded to be a complete bitch on the phone with me, telling me that it was a courtesy that they even drove out to the restaurants at all, that it was a courtesy that they called her phone at all. And she even started being even more snooty and disrespectful with me, saying that my mom may be choosing to not talk to me while complete strangers, complete Hispanic strangers, who are only speaking Spanish to me, have her phone. So, yeah, my mom is choosing to not talk to me while she doesn't have her phone and complete strangers have it, sure. And then she's telling me to not worry because she couldn't care less about not doing her job. <sighs> Honestly, she sounded like a privileged, snooty white bitch, and um, I'm pretty good with voices. So, yeah, coming across as a pretty snooty white bitch on the phone who didn't care to do her job, just wants to wear the uniform, have the badge, and tote the gun to feel like she's doing something for the community. But when it comes time to show action and do shit, she's so quick to say what's not her job and how many other calls she has to answer and be rude on the phone with me saying dumb shit like my mom is trying to not talk to me while complete strangers have her phone. And they only called one time and they refused to call back? I haven't asked her to leave a message in Spanish and this bitch was just being so rude and sarcastic with me, saying that doesn't make sense and that I shouldn't worry and that there's nothing else they could do for me. She was literally yelling at me through the phone while I'm just worried and concerned about my mom. She couldn't give a damn less. I don't even know if they checked out the restaurant. All I know is it took her an hour to call me back after I called it in, and I still don't know anything. I still haven't heard a word. So apparently, no matter where you are in the USA, the cops always say they're here to serve and protect, but when you wait for them to be in action, they take their sweet-ass time, and they do the, ver the bare minimum, and then they want to make you feel like you should be grateful that they did anything at all or took the call. And it's like, don't my tax dollars pay your salary? Don't all the citizens' tax dollars pay your salary? Isn't this why you're hired? I don't think they just said, hey, come on down to wear the suit, tote the gun, and have a badge. Don't serve. Don't protect. Just say it's not your job, and you just work here. I could not be more disappointed in the police system. I could not be more disappointed in the 115 precinct of Queens, which is close by Long Island, whatever. 
I just really pray that my mom is okay, and I don't know why these people have her phone, but when they were on the phone with me, they were bullshitting me. Like I said, there was a time where they picked up the phone, and for 30 minutes, 30 seconds straight, they were just silent, didn't say anything, didn't make a sound, they were just listening to my distress, my reaction, while they were saying nothing to me. And they completely refused all my video calls, because I wanted to see what these people actually look like while they're telling me they only speak Spanish. Clearly, when I hear this beginning English in the background. And, yeah, I'm just worried about my mom. I pray that my mom is safe. And if anything happened to her, I'm going to catch some bodies. And these cops are to blame because they didn't want to do anything to help. I told them to track my mom's phone. They told me they couldn't track her phone. They matter of fact, they said it would be illegal to track her phone. And I'm like, what do you mean it's illegal? I'm calling in my worries about my mom because I haven't heard from her and strangers have her phone saying they only speak Spanish, not answering the phone, not getting back to me, not telling me any specifics, just saying that they found the phone. And this cop could not be less than helpful. Wanted me to feel grateful that she took my call at all. And I'm just like, wow, is this really what the legal system has come to? You know, a society of people with God complexes that don't really want to help the community, but want to make the community feel like they're in debt to them while they do nothing, or at least do the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, this cop definitely doesn't need to be on the force. She absolutely sucks. And I'm just praying to God that my mom is safe. Praying to God that my mom is safe, and I pray to God that these cops aren't the reason something bad happens to her or something bad happens to her. Because chances are they could have been right where she was, and if they didn't go there, if they didn't look around, or if they didn't do anything, they could have helped her and they chose not to. And let this be a public record that, you know, there are cops out there, too many cops out there, who choose to tote the badge and the gun and the uniform, but they don't actually serve or protect. They don't actually do their jobs. They're quick to have an attitude for no fucking reason when you're literally calling out of concern for your mother because you love her, and they're making it seem like you're ridiculous for worrying at all. It's like, I'm sorry if you don't love your mother, but I'm not going to love mine any less because you don't love your mother. And I'm not going to worry any less because you didn't feel like working tonight. So maybe your boss should take your job Superior Becky, God Complex Becky, because you suck and we don't need you on the force saying that you've done all you can do by doing barely anything and that you're going to hang up on me now. Because, oh yeah, she hung up on me while I was still trying to talk to her and while I was still in distress. So I'm just drinking and smoking, trying to relax myself. But yeah, really stressed, really worried, and I'm really pissed in the legal system that it seems like all the wrong people get all the highest responsibilities and don't live up to it. And this is America Today.